What's poppin' guys? It's your boy Ultimus Beaster, and welcome back to another crispy Pirate 101 video. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys the best Pirate 101 guide in 2022. These are gonna give y'all tips and tricks on how to have a nice, clean adventure in Pirate 101. Now, if you wanna see more guides and more Pirate 101 content, make sure you like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to keep up with the crispiest wizard 101 and pirate 101 content let's get started now the first thing i want to start off with is don't make your companions the same level as you now i know it's tempting and when you have certain companions you want to level them up as high as possible that's not the best thing to always do you want to keep them a few levels under you the reason you want to do this is because when you use actual companion points then they'll have more value to them you can level up a lower level companion way faster with one training point you can level up a low level companion like five levels depending how far they are from your pirates level so you want to keep your good companions that you really love and that have really good stats you want to keep them as like three or four levels below you not too much just enough for the companion points to have enough value to where you're getting a lot of experience out of them now the next thing that i want to give a tip on is organizing your powers and discarding your powers the closer that you put them up the more likely you'll be able to pull them in the beginning of the fight let's say you want your critical attack or something to show up first or you wanted to pull up first before you had to discard anything you can organize it to come to the top so it can more likely show up and you can simply discard any um other powers that you don't want anymore you or like in the middle of the fight you don't want them you could just uh, right click it and it'll disappear for you now next thing i want to talk about is the presidio which is a skull island dungeon and it's determined what companion you get by the death of your parents now whether you chose giant squid or mutiny or shipwreck those decisions help choose your decision of your companion now if you choose the giant squid you'll get the crab thug now if you chose lost at sea you get the dog pirate now if you chose mutiny you'll get dead mike which is like a zombie if you chose armada you'll get the guinea pig guard and if you chose thunderstorm you get milo Greytail. now which one's the best out of these these are just opinionated to you and which one you want to go for i know a lot of people go for milo gray tail now like i said these are all deciding on which one you want to pick now the next thing to do which is kind of tedious on some of the companions is do their promotions now when you do their promotions they'll get another epic or another talent and you'll level up their overall stats now some of these promotions can be a bit long like red bear and bonnie Ann have pretty long side missions or promotions that could take a bit of time so make sure to do them in your downtime but make sure you get them done the next thing to do which i think is a very very helpful tip is to avoid boarding enemy ships and avoid them from boarding your ship. Avoid backup if you're in the yellow, get away from them because when you do that, you're gonna extend the fight way too long. And a side note, with the nautical experience that you get from fighting ships, send unused companions onto nautical or sailing and then they will earn you nautical XP, which can be used for your ships. If you're a person like me that really don't care for doing ship stuff, sending them out on those missions will give you nautical XP which will make you like basically just get free experience. Now, the next thing that goes hand in hand with it is keep an eye on your nautical experience. Cause you might be a level and be able to get certain gear and you just ain't know it like I did a couple of times. So just keep an eye on it. Cause every world you go to, you're pretty much going to need a better ship and better equipment to survive in that world. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is kind of based on your school. Now you might get a couple free training points or skills from other teachers, depending on what school you are. I think if you're Buccaneer, you could probably get something from like Privateer or Swashbuckler, you get something for Privateer, but some schools go hand in hand. So that's why you'd be able to learn some free points or free skills now next one i want to talk about is devilfish landing how there's a secret trainer there that give y'all special abilities trainer gets switched out every one to three hours so when you go there and there's not a certain school that you want the abilities for you can wait a couple hours and come back and there'll be a different trainer let's say there's a musketeer trainer there and i don't want any of that and then it gets switched out to a witch doctor one that i get the witch doctor perks and the earliest one i believe is level 25 so make sure y'all go there check it out and i'll have a video playing in the background of where you can go to get it now the last tip that i have for this video is understand your strength agility will understand your pirates main class and how to utilize those for you now for example if you're a buccaneer i suggest you go for strength because strength is one of the stats that you'll have the highest of depending on how high your strength is and how high your enemy strength is if yours is way higher the percentage of your critical aim will be a lot higher as well and who doesn't like the critical now for the agility i suggest this for the swashbucklers and musketeers now for will i suggest this for witch doctors and privateers hope this guide really helped you out and i appreciate it if you're playing power 101 i think it's an epic game we're gonna bring it back for 2022 and if you have any questions or tips and tricks of your own that you would like to leave put them down in the comment section below make sure you follow me on tiktok instagram twitter and the discord down in the description below i appreciate it if you watch all the way to the end make sure you like subscribe and tap the notification bell to keep up with the crispiest wizard 101 and power 101 content i will see you all later thank you for joining me
Peace.